So guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see by the title, we are picking up the M4 today from UVE Wrap. So remember, go and follow those guys. They are really helping me out with this wrap. I've wanted it on at least one of my cars for ages. So these guys have actually come through. We're leaving uh, a lot of very cool things happening in the workshop that you will see very very soon on the fiesta this is super cool i haven't showed you guys this but this is um a very dear friend of ours and he daily drives that around so that's pretty sick we're actually taking the porsche cayenne back today um i've actually really enjoyed it oddly i, I really like cayennes or you know you guys uh, may or may not know that but yeah i've super enjoyed this thing it has been a fantastic week with this but we've got to take it back right now to uve jump on the boat because the m4 is finished i will again try and do as much car spotting as possible you guys really enjoy the car spotting so it's something i want to do more on the channel if i'm honest so as spots go this is a bloody good start a v10 twin turbo generation rs6 you do not see many of these on the road so it's actually a really beautiful sight for me uh, to see this funnily enough i've actually been out in this car and know it is it's like 700 800 whatever it is silly amount of horsepower fantastic car but what a good start to the video what a spot so as car spotting goes we are back at the jdm location uh none of the cars have actually moved again but yeah i'd have that dc2 the silver one i, I again haven't seen a, a silver dc2 in years so it's really nice to see one of those p1s still there if you own any of these and want me to shoot for the channel please let me know it's a lovely transport just come past us but yeah if you own any of these let me know i'd love to shoot them or buy them that'd be cool maybe maybe one day hey lads maybe one day just coming through there is a uh raptor ranger something that i haven't seen much of i don't know about you guys but i haven't seen too many of them so one of them out in the open just coming down this side of the industrial estate c63 just over there absolutely gloriously beautiful gt3 rs there in miami blue would absolutely kill to own one of them wouldn't you in the comment below if you don't another little quick spot for us here let me know in the comments again what you think this is not really sure if i'm honest looks like a four door maybe not too sure leave a comment below let me know what you think we're interrupting today's video to give a massive thank you to today's sponsor, Aftermarket Arbitrage. These guys are the plug. If you want Yeezys, if you want anything that is hot tub related, or you want a second income, just like grabbing the 350s as they come out, these are bought and supplied by the guys at Aftermarket Arbitrage. Look at the state of them. Brand new. Links are in the description to Aftermarket Arbitrage. They are the plug for hot tubs. A second income for you guys like hot tubs like nintendo switches like ps5s all of the good stuff and you can either sell on or you do like what i do or i buy stuff for myself at the rrp rather than a blown up price tag these guys are the plug again links are in the description but let's get back to the video all about humanity. went for a livery on the m4 because i love a livery so this is uh sort of like themed on an old school f1 car you know the senate era from the marlborough f1 cars or an e30 m3 dtm car uh rally cars especially they did do a marlborough um e30 with like sony and stuff all on it and unfortunately this wouldn't sort of work with this car because it's a bit too new but i feel like this livery has made this car it's a very very simple livery at the end of the day it is a base white so the white pearl white of the car and then a pearl red over the top we'll go through and just show you guys a few things that uve did to really just make this its own because i i absolutely love this it, from pictures from videos it does not look um anywhere near as good as it does in the flesh so we've actually gone with a few black accents at the front just to 
you know, give it a bit more depth to the front end with a bit of an eyelid on the headlight. Marlboro going across the front with the wrap red going across. Same striping really as the original sort of F1 or DTM or rally era of the Marlboro livery. But yeah, this wrap is really, really nice because the car is pearl white itself. Going for a red pearl, Maybe a little bit darker than they would have had on the original race liveries at the time, but I think it really, really works. This was my idea. I wanted to, you know, maybe a little bit darker than, than the red that you would usually see. Going across the side of the original uh, number board that would have been on cars from this sort of era with my number nine, my lucky number, Marlborough. And then we've got all of our fantastic sponsors, Steiner Gloss, UVE, Rotterform, JW Shine, Voodoo. We are missing one though, which is aftermarket arbitrage. So shout out to those guys. Unfortunately, I didn't get the uh, bit right and it's not gone very well. But I will be assessing that very, very quickly. There will be an A from Aftermarket Arbitrage at the front very, very soon. We have a chameleon window tint on the front. Very controversial thing, but I love it. I think it suits well with the blue brake calipers and the blue on the front end. I wanted to mix it up a bit, not, you know, solid red the whole car out. You can get red chameleon tint, but I thought, do you know what? I'd rather go this blue sort of chameleon light blue turquoise into blue and yes we've got uve surfaces limited at the top there going to the back of the car though this is where i want to start changing a few things because usually you would find some sort of tourist trophy uh signature or something at the back here and what we've actually done is gone wrapped by uve and as you can see you can just about see the UVE wrap underneath the stripe that's on the back of the car. We are, of course, going to put a British flag somewhere here to go with the Jamie FYD signature on the window, as you, of course, would find on a race car. I'm not saying that this is a race car because it's a road car, but I am honestly so happy with this. We'll go around the back and show you guys. We've got tinted rear lights to just darken the rear end with the red on the wrap here. I wanted to make sure that this was sort of not solid red going round. So we've wrapped that and we've wrapped these bits as well. Just to give it a little bit more depth at the bottom of the back of the car. So yeah, all in all, I am so happy with this. The guys at UV have smashed this out so quick. And again, if you guys are interested in anything like this, design, wrap, signatures for vans, chameleon window tints, anything. These are the guys. The turnaround is insane and look what they've created for me. I, you know, gave them an idea and a couple of pictures and yeah, they absolutely smashed it out of the park. I am so impressed with what they've done here. And yeah, UV wraps again. I'll put links in the description to their Instagram. Give them a follow. But my God, what a cool thing to do to a car. There's no color change. I'd, I you know, like a color change in a car, don't get me wrong, but I am always about the liveries. We will of course be assessing the ride height and a set of wheels very, very soon. As you can see from the Rotterform logos, this will be getting some Rotterforms in the not so distant future. It's actually tomorrow, I think they get here. So very exciting videos still to come.